Shukuru mwona alie kuba Excuse me. Hi. What? I'm sorry. I'm, yes? I'm, I'm lost. Where are the gents? Same place. They haven't moved. Thank you. Excuse me. I'm not a pervert. Look, I don't know. 
What? You planned this. You are following me. I don't even know you. I saw the way you looked at me. I am a married man. You zip. I know what you want. Look, I, I really had no idea. You knew. Hey, calm down! Get away from me! What is the problem with you? Get away from me! Calm down! Relax! Okay, relax! <laughs> what the hell are you taking me for? How am I supposed to know? Do you think I'm interested in you or something? Why else would you follow me to the ladies? Don't even flatter yourself, crazy woman! Please! Are you blind or something? There's a sign at the door. The lady. I saw that. I... Don't try to fool me. I only came here because the gents, well, they were locked. Just admit it. You're out to get me. You know what, crazy woman? If you meet your man in a public toilet, I'm sorry. I'm not that kind. Are you insulting me? What are you trying to say that I get my man from the loose? Whatever you want to make out of it. Do I look like a hoe? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you could give me a clue. I am not a hoe. I don't care. It doesn't change anything. The fact remains, you followed me to the ladies. You know what? I'm sick and tired of your bullshit. Get away from me. Just hit me. Just hit me. You think that you're the only one with right? Just hit me! What are you waiting for? Look, I have a lawyer too. And this will not be the first time that we'll be dealing with an assault. Just hit me! What the hell are you waiting for? Look, I have a really long weekend ahead of me. Somebody has locked us in. Please. Look, look seriously, I, I really... I had no idea. I, I thought the door had jammed. <laughs> Hello? Can anybody hear me? Who usually locks this place? Do I look like I have room in my head for such things? The thing is, I don't work here myself. And I'm not asking for the sake of it. Well, maybe it's a cleaning lady. What's her name? Mm. Mary or Miriam or something. <sighs> Miriam! Miriam! Wait, I think it's Hannah. Are you sure? Yes! Hannah! 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 Seems like everybody has left. Hannah! 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 Looks like we're stuck here. Call somebody, a colleague or a friend. I was here to see a client. Why can't you call yourself? Why should I be the one to use my credit? Look, lady, <laughs> I don't have a problem with airtime. This is Nokia 3250, postpaid with Bluetooth, infrared, MP3 player, and a 2.1 megapixel steel camera. So, what are you trying to tell me? Anyway. The damn thing fell into the toilet bowl and I can't use it now. It's so fancy. How come it's not waterproof? They have a website where you can suggest needed improvements. Anyway, can we just make the damn call and we get out of here? You can reload your airtime with this. I don't need your money. I can't call, okay? Why? I left my phone charging in the office. Oh, God!
You could have said that before. There's got to be somebody working late. Hello? Hello, anybody? We're here. This is the 15th floor, right? Why are you asking me? Oh, God. Why do you have to be so uptight about everything? I'm only being helpful. Okay. It's the 15th floor. How does that make you helpful? Well, the 15th floor is a bit too high for anybody down there to hear us. So you think I'm stupid not to see that? Look, I, I just... I can see and think too. Scared oh. me. Mm. <laughs> I've had to wait to much just lose your voice, you know. Yeah, that's what you're hoping for. So that I can't scream for people to come save me from you. for later in, you know. Basil, I'm being stuck here with you. I am stuck. Toilet. At 15th floor. Shadow amani gitu gani? Pumbavu. Ini nini sasa hii? Hii ni upuzi. Hii? Hii ni mshadow amani gitu gani? Laugh if you want. Hey, I was really hoping it would work. Really? Hey, at last. There's someone in the building! Hello! Hey! Can you hear me? We're here! Hello! Hello! Don't you want to get out? That's my ringtone. Since you're now stuck in the same hole, I think you might as well give me a name to call you by. D. I'm Luther. Luther Van Rosodiambo. Is it D for Diana Dorino Dora? Drama. If you want to see drama, continue asking such stupid questions. <laughs> oh boy. Wait. 
minute.
Hey, you have some white stuff on there. Thanks. You're welcome. You had a flight to catch? Yeah. Now my weekend is all messed up. Mine too. Reflection is not strong enough. Yeah. 
Yeah. We can try something else. This. Hey! 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 I'm sorry. Thanks. You can wear this. Hey, my feet don't stink. That's very kind of you, but... The floor is very cold. Just have them. Why are you doing this? I haven't been very nice to you. Hey, it's only a pair of socks. Your family must be very concerned about you. I'm getting married on Monday. A wedding on a Monday? A Somali one. You're kidding me. You look like a cuke. My fiance is Somali. Your fiance is Somali? Interesting. Just a little more time. Then the phone will dry and we can get out of here. Want some? No. No. But thanks. Okay. Don't you think it's unhygienic to eat in such a place? I really don't have a choice. I'm starving. You must love cookies. All those. <laughs> uh, this was for a certain campaign that we're working on. Okay, I was taking some for my daughter back home. You have a daughter? Yes, I do. How old? Shanice is five. So my younger? Yeah, at 27. And then she was born a year later. Sound like you're very fond of her. I'll tell you what. She is my reason for living these days. Let me take the phone. Well? Not yet. <sighs> this is so boring. I really hate being idle. So, where did you meet your fiancé? College. Classmate? No, just the same campus. It was two years ahead of me. Oh, I see. Love at first sight, yeah? Not really. No. How did you start? Well, he was chairman of the Physics Students Association. At some point, he booked me on a class trip. Oh, you are taking physics? <laughs> Sociology. <laughs> Typical real technique. Yep. 
I know the rest. He started visiting you in your room in old hours. And before long, well, <laughs> you know, and you've been quite happy together ever since. Not really. We broke up just after he graduated. Why? The usual. Cheating. So, when did you get back together? He was based in Dubai for some time. When he came back, we just started dating again. He's a businessman. Yeah, he's running family business. They import electronics. Seems like uh, you might have to take up the family business when you get married. At this point, I'm ready for anything. Even becoming a housewife. Come on. Why would anybody with your brains want to be a housewife? I'm just being realistic. His family is very conservative. It seems like uh, you might have to give up a lot of other things too. Like the cancer stick. That's why I'm enjoying myself while I still can. Water? <laughs> He's not in the loo. Okay. <clears throat> Is that you? <laughs> you want to laugh? <laughs> I'm sorry, but honestly, it's very hard imagining somebody like you producing such sounds. <laughs> I know what that means. Um, they're just next to you. You can have them. Hey, look. This is no time to talk about hygiene. What if I get a stomach kick? If it leads to diarrhea, the toilets are just here. You know what they say? One moment on your lips, a lifetime on your hips. You're worried about fitting into your wedding dress, right? Every woman worries about that. Do you go to the gym? No. Feels too high. It's like my rent. You can improvise, you know. There are a lot of exercises that you can do at home without having to pay anyone. <laughs> like what you've just done? Yeah. I can't do that. Come on, it's very easy. Just come. Let me show you. <laughs> come on, I'll show you. Come on. Okay, just hold. No, the other side. Yeah, now just try and pull yourself up. <laughs> okay, okay, Honey. let me help you. Okay, pull yourself up. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, just try it again. You're doing fine, you're doing fine. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <Honey. laughs> God. This is not my kind of exercise. Let me try something else. Man, this country is in a mess. 
the insecurity it's so high corruption tribalism there are no jobs you really ought to be doing better is that hope really yeah but only if we get good leaders where are they these same people don't seem to be interested in politics that's the tragedy why have we put up with bad leaders in the past anyway i really don't know maybe we are a bit too lenient could be man i'm getting too old for this you see the thing is we never really ask them to account yeah and we're also so modest with the expectations such that when they perform we actually get surprised what we need to do is we really need to set her standards for them yeah true because nowadays it's like politics is just some sort of retirement pastime <laughs> <laughs> and even those who are somewhat progressive the only problem is that uh, they're just too short-sighted they can't think beyond five years yeah and they're selfish they only think about their stomachs and quite incapable of honesty i read somewhere that uh, for us Africans, interpersonal relationships are even more important than the truth. So you'll find uh, the people surrounding these guys, they don't even dare tell them the truth. It's depressing. Yeah, very depressing. <clears throat> Let me check the phone. Not yet. Not yet. I can't believe we've been here the whole day. We need to do something. Give me a minute. Play some music, maybe it will help you feel better.
is really not good for you. You can sleep on the bench. And you? Don't worry about me. I'll sort myself out. internet on my laptop but I kept postponing it and my phone went off it's called my fees law when thing goes wrong everything goes wrong yeah
Hi. Hi. How's the foot? Swollen. Don't worry. It's going to be all right. I'll be limping on my wedding. Come on, don't worry about that. It's going to be all right. Now, settle down and I'll get you some breakfast. Breakfast served in bed. That's my favorite show. We have some real life stories. They're talking about me. They think I ain't and I'm just stuck in a stupid toilet. <laughs> Your story is already on air. Why is this happening? How do we get out? How do we get out? How do we get out? I have an idea. This is what we'll do. We'll connect one end of this pipe to the main pipe, and then the other end to the window. So you want us to pour it on the pedestrian? Yes, and when they look up, we'll wave and scream. You're good at that, aren't you? This thing is too tight. Get me the broomstick. Okay, hold on to this. Okay. Here. Just one! 
The bolt would have worked. It has to be somewhere here. I know what we'll do. What? We'll just let the place flood. And where are we going to stay? You're barefoot already. The water will flow out under the door, go down the stairs, and then someone will come and fix it. <laughs> Brilliant idea! Hey, look, the water is flowing out already. Then our problem is solved. <laughs> and it's also running out of the pipe. dry our clothes. Why should it be in wet clothes and the sun is shining? Don't you agree? What? The clothes. We should hang them on the window so that they can dry. Yeah, that's a good idea. Accident. Not hit. Cards? Just someone. Someone I love. I'm going to marry. Just like that. Look, it's no big deal. is more than a day older for wrapping meat. <laughs> you know, 
I just realized the amount of things that I never get to read in these papers. I only read the top story. Yeah, and the headline is always on politics, unless it's a disaster. Politics are very important, you know. They determine our lives. What do you mean? Politics have ruined our lives. We politic a lot. I disagree. It's corruption and tribalism that have ruined us, especially now than ever. Those things inside the other day, they take time to go. Well, if NAC feels incapable, let it give way for ODM. ODM is going nowhere. It is NAC that is going nowhere. Who told you that? People want change. There's been a lot of change. Where? Free primary education, the roads are being rebuilt, the economy has grown, better prices for farmers. What about corruption? What about tribalism? Poverty? No jobs. Those things can't change overnight. They can. Only if we set high standards for ourselves. It's easier said than done. It can be done. I mean, the problem is with our leaders. They're just too short-sighted. All they concentrate on is uh, political survival. Well, I... Look, ever since independence, all some of them are focused on is political survival. You know what? This political stuff is wearing me out. They're still a little wet. Why hasn't anyone come to fix the water? Maybe nobody has noticed yet. I'm thirsty. All the water is gone. Are we forgotten? Now what do we do? There's some in the systems. I can't take that. <clears throat> Why not? It's the same water that comes to these taps. Why is this happening? We're losing our dignity every passing second. Can't get worse than this. Do you? It's no use complaining. I guess. Drink the water. I can't. Hey, it's working. <laughs> Maybe you don't need to do that right now. Off. God. Now my battery, what? my battery is dying. Just dial the ones you can. What? He's not picking up his phone. Hey, hello. This is Luther. Just a minute. I'm stuck in a in a loop. This. Oh. Uh, what? Damn. God. What? Patrick's dead! I have an idea. Thank you. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> For once, the bright idea has brought darkness. It seemed like a good idea, though. You're brave, and that's what matters. I'm really starving. D, would you like some cookies? Thanks. Wow, this is tiny. I've never seen this city like this before. It's funny, this is something that happens every day. But you're always caught up with waking up and going to work. It's busy. You never really get to see the sun rising. This is so beautiful. I had to get stuck here to notice. Continues is Sunday morning. It's a special hey, show. Hey, Luther, it's your program again. Your calls on 0733 But it seems like the battery is dying. I am Karaoke Dige and I am Gatia. <laughs> well, you remember yesterday morning's problem? Yeah, to release a story, Ali Hassan. This morning we have a different, perhaps, attempt to solve this problem. I have Ali's father on the line. He wants to speak to no, the no, nation. No, 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 no. Listen, He's listen, 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 when you do not listen to your father. Nikoli, Baba. Now listen. Sema, Baba. We had already chosen a wife for him. Ah. But he decided to refuse our choice. And he go take his own choice. Now this is the price he's paying. He we understand what you're feeling, Mze. We understand. Those people will never accept me. Hey, don't say that. If the guy really loves you, it doesn't matter what the rest think. Have you ever asked yourself why you really want to marry him? Why do you ask that? <laughs> it's only a question. Well, I'm 28. Okay, 29. So? I just don't want to hit 30 before I'm married. I see. We already tell him, Kama heike nyangarika bana kuje kuharusi leo. The wedding is going on with or without her. Because we have already chosen another wife. Ah. No, the battery is dead. <sighs> anyway, illos are like that everywhere. Mine, they don't like me either. Why do you say that? Oh, well, they have a low opinion of me. They have a low opinion of you? Yeah, they think I'm not good enough for their daughter. That they got a road deal. Exactly. What does your wife do? She's a dentist. Wow. <laughs> a dentist? Yeah. Does she have a problem herself? Initially, no. But nowadays, 
she's just like the rest of them. What sort of people are they? Academic types. Her parents are professors of medicine. And then she has a brother who's a heart surgeon. And her sister is studying aeronautical engineering in the US. Hmm. <laughs> Quite intimidating. Yep. That's why they see me as an underachiever. <laughs> why? I mean, you look all educated, in a good career. For them, you're nothing unless you studied medicine, law, or engineering in the US. That's crap. It really baffles me. I mean, I went to St. Mary's and then Stanford. Stanford University? As in like... The Ivy League. Wow. What did you study? Urban planning. Exotic. Is it related with what you're doing? I know. I learned what I'm doing on the job. Interesting. You see, nowadays it's quite easy to change career paths. What about you? Which is your alma mater? Maseno. And high school? <laughs> Don't go there. You've not heard of it. <laughs> just tell me. Uh-uh. Why not? Just tell me. Come on. Gashororo girls. What? Gashororo girls. <laughs> Gash, 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 oh God, is that in Kenya? <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, that's a funny name. Oh, God knows how much I need a solid meal right now. Something like ugali and uh, some fish with kachumbari at Koseves. friends give not a gift. My friends give advice. <laughs> Rule number one. Marriage is hard work. Be prepared to work very, very hard. Rule number two. <laughs> Keep the communication rights wide open. Don't ever keep things bottled up. The only thing that needs to be bottled up is white and medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Rule number three, always find time to spend together, no matter how busy you are. Rule number four, never ever employ a household who is more beautiful than you. <laughs> God, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Did I hurt you? I'm so sorry. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Luther. Yeah. Do you think we'll make it in time for my wedding? Of course. Um. I have this idea that I've been thinking about. I think it might work. It's worth trying. What are you doing? Give me a lighter. You want to start a fire? It's not cold. Just give it to me. Give me a little polish. I only have a little Is this flammable? Oh, that could work. Just give it to me. Digging Kikuyu woman kills Luo man, rich Luo man in the toilet. Hey, hey. Don't exaggerate him. Let's just face it. 
And people just don't trust each other. That's, that's a bit strong, you know. Look at the way things are. Why do you think we're so divided? Well... Let me ask you something. If elections were called today, who would you vote for? You're trapping me. The whole truth. Okay. I will tell you who my people wouldn't vote for. You see? And if I asked you why, you wouldn't give me a good reason. What do you mean? There is no good reason. It's just hate. All those times. All those times that you have betrayed us counts for nothing. Jaramogi. He gave up his ambitions because of Kenyatta. And how did he repay him? He got kicked out. You people, you're just so thankless. That's how politics goes. It's survival for the fittest. It was even worse for Mboya, who served Kenyatta so loyally. What happened? He got killed. Mboya was killed by communist spies, or Dinga's people. Lies. All lies. So, you see, if anything, it's you people who ought not to have anything at all against us. Oh, so you think you're perfect? Hey, look. I didn't ask for questions. I just need your reasons. Okay. For one, you people don't do the, you know, the manhood thing. What? The cat. What a stupid thing to say. How does being uncircumcised prevent somebody from leading? Your brain is not covered with your foreskin. Nobody will follow an uncircumcised man. You're still a boy. What? And you people are so violent, this country will go into war. When you stand up for what you believe in, we are labeled so. That I expected from you. So, I guess you would rather have an idiot from your village in leadership other than somebody else who is more qualified from elsewhere. I know it. It's true. You're putting words in my mouth. Some people think that uh, you have this superiority complex, this sense of exceptionalism. What do you expect? We fought for independence. That's where you go wrong. The people who fought for independence did it for their land, our land, this nation. This is not even worth it. What about now, Luther? You and me in this toilet on Easter Sunday. I'm not just you people. I'm Diana Wanjiro Mwangi, and I just saved your sorry ass. A 
I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Diana Anjiro Mwangi. about you and me in this toilet. I'm very sorry. I'm sorry too. Sit on the bench. <laughs> Is this some sort of exercise? Yeah, it's a lot in the park. Cool breeze. Singing of the birds relaxes me so well. It's so nice, you know. What's it about birds there? So, do you come here often? Ah, yes, I do. It's a great way to relax, you know. This is something I have never given serious consideration. Really? I'll tell you what. It really puts your mind at ease. The men I've dated will never do this kind of thing. I can't imagine Ali taking me for a walk in the park. What? Oh, does he take you to the movies or something? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Ali knows nothing about going to the theatre. He doesn't watch pirated movies at home instead. <laughs> what exactly do you do for fun? With him? Yeah. He's a man of very simple taste. Does he take you for lunch or dinner? Yeah. Sinyamachoma and Ugali qualifies for dinner. <laughs> what exactly is dinner to you? Getting dressed up. Going out to a fancy restaurant. Ordering things you can't spell or even pronounce. I'll tell you what. My favorite restaurant is just a place for that kind of thing. What will you have? A bodyguard, just in case your wife appears. <laughs> <laughs> what if that is not available? I don't know. You tell me. Love the soup of peace, drink of care, cake of affection, hmm. <laughs> coffee of friendship, chocolate of love, and fruits full of life. Are you making up your own stuff? No. <laughs> Look, that's what the menu says. Let me see that. Hmm. Mm. Nice introduction. Yeah. Look, um, this is what we shall have. Mexican orange for starter. And that would be? Spinach leaves, tomatoes, almond chilies, lettuce, herbs, and orange. I see. Yeah. And then for the main course, tuna sticks marinated in a honey sauce, charcoal grilled, and served with a sabi mayonnaise. Order it already, I'm so Relax, come on. Then for the dessert, fruit platter, drizzled with honey sauce and poppy seeds. Do you ever eat at home? I do. 
Whenever you're on talking terms with my wife, I'm so I sorry. Know. Look, don't allow this to spoil our evening. Okay? okay. Fungua maji bwana maji tuko pur 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 maji machini ah ah makelele ah kwa ni nyimomba hilo acha mungu siwezi siwezi ah ni fumilia afadhali nirudi nyumbani nipande miwa kwa nini nimekorokewa na simidi hapa oh okay god don't go god don't go bwana wewe unasema tu sababu uko huko chini uko chini hapa tu ni mambo mbaya bwana sirudi fumilia bwana hapa mimi sikai wewe mimi hapa So dull. 
Cheer up. Cheer up? Cheer up when I'm stuck in a stupid toilet on my wedding day. Cheer up? Dee, what's the problem? Just leave me alone. Come on, Dee, just come out. Go away, Lucifer. <laughs> You're really feeling discouraged, but but you can't afford to lose hope. No food, no water, no life. We can't eat hope. We can't drink hope. You just have to keep trying. I'm tired of trying. I have an idea. next room to the washroom? I have no idea. There is no harm in finding out. What do you see? It's very dark. I can't see anything. This is wood and I, I thought it was metal. I think we can actually find it off. Give me your nail file. What, you want to do your nails now? Just give it to me. What I'll do is I'll scrap them off from them. When they are loose enough, we can knock them out, yeah? Yeah, it's working. The holiday you'd looked forward to is now over. Tomorrow it's back to work. Yeah, but frankly, I might not have achieved what I wanted to over the weekend. Concerning your marriage? Yep. I think my wife had, uh, she had already made up her mind on what she wanted to do with her life. Not even a holiday would have changed her mind. Why do you say that? She had been planning on leaving the country for months now without even telling me. She had applied for a job in Botswana. Gone for the interview. Well, she got the job. And even accepted the offer. And she didn't tell me. I'm so sorry. I really had no idea. Can you believe that I found out from a friend? I'm so sorry. Going to Mombasa to try and mend up the marriage would have been quite useless. The marriage was as good as over. I've been thinking a lot about our conversation yesterday. And? Why are we so busy fighting against each other as if we're the only two communities in Kenya? Other communities must really feel left out. I'm glad that they themselves are not involved in such a circus. That's not as sad as the fact that most of the time, we only vote for these people because they are from our communities, but not because they are capable of being good leaders. Yet the direct benefits just go to the guys, relatives and friends. Yeah, the only satisfaction that we get is purely psychological. And if the guy is a bad leader, the whole country suffers, <laughs> whether you voted for him or not. It's very hard for people to see that though. Yeah, I think they're not lose enough. Give me that broom that you broke the other day. Yeah. Can you see anything? Still very dark. Give me a lighter. What do you see now? Wait a minute. I see keys! Then it must be the cleaner's room. The only problem is that they're, 
They're so far away. Maybe I can fit in. <laughs> no. Are you saying that I'm fat? I like you just the way you are. We're talking about whether I can fit in. Uh, of course. Oh. <laughs> the problem is how to get those keys. I know. The clothes inside are on wire hangers. Uh, we get out. We'll go mm. and I'll buy you a new pair of socks. <laughs> <laughs> Won't you be late for your wedding? I'm actually glad I got stuck here. That wedding would have been a mistake. A big mistake. I see. And you? Did you have any plans yourself? Well... Uh, Tell me. To get your number. Me too. The fighting. 
the arguing, the conversations, the laughter, I will never forget. This is one toilet I'll never forget in my life. Nani's working? We still have some more to go. I'll try to hope the man is working. It's got to be those keys. There must be another bunch of keys. Maybe she went home with them. What if they're in another room? Or in her gown, or in another building, or they're lost. Possibilities are endless. You're right. There's another gown next to the door. in a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. It's a recess. It's in the water. 